Now let's talk about the master section. We've used it in some other tutorials, but now let's go over it a little bit more in depth. The master section is the final output stage of WaveLab, so most of your audio files and audio montages are going to be running through the master section in real time, so that any processing that you apply through plugins or any sort of other effects is going to be applied in real time as you're doing your mastering. Now the signal flow going through the master section is top to bottom, so it's going to run through the effects section first then go through the resampling section, then through the master faders, and then through the final effects and dithering processes. So let's go up here to the very top of the master section and talk about a few really important controls. The master section does have a power button, and with that you can bypass the processing if you don't want the audio to run through the master section, so that way you can choose whether you're listening to the original file or the processed or mastered version. There's also a preset window for saving your own master section settings, and that will retain all of the plugin settings as well. Then another really important button is the reset button, because sometimes you just want to get the master section back to its default settings without any plugins or any other fader levels set. So when you click on that, it will remove all the plugins that you have in all three sections and set the master faders back at their zero positions. So that's the layout of the master section. Next, let's talk about adding plugins.